Hey guys, it's Deborah, and I am back with another Diamond Art Club unboxing. I got two paintings here, and I checked their website right before filming. So as of today, April 13th, I've got this top one, Mona, still in stock, so you can go ahead and order that. But unfortunately, the bottom one, I couldn't find in my search on their website. So usually what happens when you can't find it, it usually means it's discontinued, or I don't, I don't even know what the story is because it was fairly new. But anyways, let's just take a peek at what I got. So like I said, the first one is called Mona. It is by Hannah Lynn. It is a round measuring 61 by 41 centimeters. It's basically, I think she calls it her monarch fairy. So she's fairy for monarch butterflies. And she also has got some apples. Thought it was super cute. This has been on my wish list for a while because it's, it had been out of stock for a good amount of time. And as soon as I got the notification that it was back in stock, I went ahead and bought it. So, Diamond Art Club toolkits come in this translucent resealable bag with a blue diamond painting pen, a handful of baggies, a blue squishy, two plates of heart-shaped wax, a skinny four placer, these are my favorite, and one clear diamond painting tray. Now, the difference between a round tool kit and a square tool kit will be the pair of black pointy tweezers that come in the square tool kits, which I will show you when I open up the next one. So they also come with a little baby sticker that shows you the image along with all the information you need. You can use that to organize catalog, whatever you want with your stash. I haven't done anything with these yet. All I'm doing is collecting them. And then it comes with a big sticker. Now this is gonna be with the inventory along with all the information you need. So looks like this diamond painting has 33 colors with one, two, three ABs. If you're not familiar with what APs, ABs are, they stand for Aurora Borealis, which are reminiscent of the Northern Lights. So what they do is that they place an iridescent coating on your beads that makes it shimmer and shine, kind of like the Northern Lights. And it really just helps accent your painting a lot. Here is a close up of the image again. And let's get into the canvas. So Diamond Art Club canvases do come wrapped in this plastic sort of dust bag to keep the canvas clean and neat. Your drills will be rolled on the inside of it. This is a poured glue canvas, which means that you don't have to deal with bubbling or the adhesive lifting up from the canvas. And it also means that you can roll this backwards to um, speed up the flattening of your canvas a lot more. But if you don't want to roll it back, this is a self-flattening canvas. So if you leave it out for a little bit, it will lay flat eventually. Every kit also comes with step-by-step -step instructions and your drills, of course. But let's look at the canvas first. So, Diamond Art Club canvases come with a key on both sides of the canvas, as well as the thumbnail on the lower left-hand side with the picture and all the information, artist name, measurements, their SKU number. Now let's take a look at their drill field. Now the, this is a round kit and you can see there is a little bit of what people call training wheels that helps you with placement of your drills, but honestly they help a lot and I don't think it really detracts from the overall um, result of your um, picture, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, here's Mona. Let's take a peek at the drills. Now their drills do come separate and labeled. So if you're one of these people like me who likes to store their canvases separate from their beads, this works out really well. 
So these are round drills. Let's see if you can try to get this to focus. So I don't see any visible amounts of trash. See smooth flat backs. To me, these drills are pretty good, but honestly, you never know until you start placing them on a the canvas. And in all honesty, um, never really had a problem with the quality of the drills from Diamond Art Club. And even if you did, all their kits, if you purchase it directly from them, come with a lifetime guarantee. They really do stand behind their products. So I don't think you really have much to worry about. So that's that. Here's Mona. One last look at her. I really like the fall colors here. Super cute. Now let's go to the next one. So like I said, this one, for some reason, is no longer on their website, which usually means it's been discontinued, unfortunately. But I will still go ahead and show it to you guys since I did purchase it. This is called Horse Valley Farm. It is by Abraham Hunter, and it is a square, pretty large painting, 94 by 70 centimeters. Now let's get into this. So, like I said, same toolkit as the round, but the only difference with a square is that it comes with these black, super pointy, super sharp tweezers. So be careful with them, but everything else is the same. I've got a little baby sticker. And then here's the inventory sheet. And this one is so new that they've this is their new format for their inventory sheet. As you can see here, I lost a little bit of the squares, but they've pre-cut all of these numbers and symbols in case you do like to kit up this way. Makes it easier for you to kit up. And they also have a start and end date, which I do use. That is very useful for me. But I don't use these inventory stickers. I'm just gonna keep this whole and put it in my book once I'm done. But here's a close-up of this picture again. This painting comes with 58 colors and we've got one, two, two ABs. All right, so let's take a look at this canvas. So once again, I don't know what the story is with this one, why it's no longer on their website, but sorry about that, but I will link the Mona painting in case you guys are interested. That one is in stock, so you can buy it right now if you want it. All right, let's roll this back. There we go. So here's our step-by-step -step instructions for diamond painting. Here is the canvas. So you can see it is giant, excuse the glare. I'm filming right by my window, so. Got a lot of sun coming in. So like all Diamond Art Club canvases, does come with a key on both sides, as well as a thumbnail on the lower left-hand side with all the information you need. Let's take a close look at the drill field. Super clear. And Another great canvas from Diamond Art Club. With a square canvas, it's a lot easier to see what I call the raw canvas, a canvas without the drills on it. It's a lot easier to see what the picture is for whatever reason, but here it is. You can see there's quite a few horses. I think I see four and a duck, tractor, some chickens, the mountains in the background, super cool. And it also came with two bags of drills. These are square. Let's just see if you can get a good look at it. And it does label it two of one and two of two. It's a side view. There's the inner side. There's the last side. 
And here's the second bag of drills. So there you go. So these are the two paintings that I have purchased from Diamond Art Club. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already done so. But um, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye now.